One thing I know is that once you travel with airport lounge access, it is really hard to go back to traveling without airport lounge access. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about all the different ways you can go about getting a Priority Pass membership, and I'm going to be talking about the easiest and, in my opinion, the best and cheapest ways to get that Priority Pass membership so you can have airport lounge access year after year for basically free. So let's talk about it. One thing I want to make sure is clear straight away is that not all Priority Pass memberships are created equal. You may have had Priority Pass in the past, but you may not have had the best version of Priority Pass, so there could be a lot of benefits you've been missing out on. For instance, if you got Priority Pass through American Express in the past, you will not have had access to complimentary meals at Priority Pass restaurants. So that's something you want to keep in mind as we're looking at the different ways you can get it. There is a level of Priority Pass that gives you access to locations, but you still have to pay for entry every time. There is a level of membership that gives you a certain number of free entries every year. There's a level of membership that gives you unlimited free access to Priority Pass lounges. And there's a level of membership that gives you unlimited access to Priority Pass lounges and Priority Pass restaurants. So just keep that in mind as we're looking at the different ways you can get Priority Pass. Essentially, there are two different ways of going about getting a Priority Pass membership. The first being to just buy it directly through Priority Pass. That is something you can do. I'll put some of that information up on screen. There's a $99 version, a $299 version, and a $429 version. But I'm just going to say straight away, this is not the way you're going to want to do it. If you bought it through Priority Pass, you'd end up spending significantly more money and actually probably getting a worse version of Priority Pass than you would using the second method. That being to get Priority Pass membership as a complimentary perk of a travel or premium credit card. And that's the main way I want to talk about in this video. There are seven personal credit cards that offer some level of Priority Pass membership as a benefit of having the card. Those seven cards are the U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve Visa card, the American Express Hilton Honors Surpass card, the American Express Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card, the American Express Hilton Honors Aspire card, the American Express Platinum card, the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, and the Capital One Venture X card. So let's dive into those cards a little more and compare the level of Priority Pass membership that they offer. I've separated them into three different tiers just solely based on Priority Pass membership. And the worst tier being tier three contains the US Bank Altitude Reserve Visa and the American Express Hilton Honors Surpass card. Both of these cards offer uh, a certain number of free visits per year as a benefit of having the card. The Altitude Reserve Visa gives you four free visits plus four visits for guests every year. And the Hilton Honor Surpass card gives you 10 total visits, which you can use for some guests if you would like. So tier two cards would be the next best. That would be the American Express Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, the American Express Hilton Honors Aspire, and the American Express Platinum. Now all three of these cards offer the same level of Priority Pass membership, and that is unlimited access to Priority Pass lounges. And it's also worth noting when you have unlimited access to lounges with these cards, you also get up to two free guests with every entry as well. So that would be tier two. And tier one cards would be the Chase Sapphire Reserve card and the Capital One Venture X card. Now both of these cards also have the same level of benefit. They give you unlimited Priority Pass membership to uh, Priority Pass lounges and they also include membership to Priority Pass restaurants as well. And if you don't know about Priority Pass restaurants, you're allowed one free guest, up to one free guest with restaurants, and those usually give $28 to $30 in free food per person. So if you go with a guest, you can get usually $56 to $60 worth of restaurant meals for free every time you visit. So it's really a great perk to have. Another thing to consider, aside from everything we've already mentioned, is authorized users. And if the authorized users of the card give you Priority Pass membership as well. If you have a spouse or kids or somebody that you'd like to make an authorized user on the card and for them to have the membership, there are three cards that offer that ability. Those three cards are the American Express Platinum, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and the Capital One Venture X. The American Express Platinum, there is a $150 fee for the first three authorized users. It's kind of a weird deal where if you have one authorized user, it's $150. If you have two, it's still $150, three, $150. So depending on how many authorized users you have, it varies in price per person. But the authorized users of that card also get the unlimited lounge access Priority Pass membership. The Chase Sapphire uh, Reserve card get, is $75 per authorized user, and those authorized users get unlimited lounge, which includes restaurant access, that Priority Pass package. Capital One Venture X actually allows you to have up to four authorized users 
completely free, and all four of those authorized users get the full Priority Pass membership that includes access to Priority Pass restaurants. So after looking at all these different cards and comparing their Priority Pass membership benefits, to me, I think it becomes really obvious which is the best card for Priority Pass membership, and that is the Capital One Venture X card. It offers the best version of Priority Pass membership that is available with unlimited access to Priority Pass lounges, unlimited access to Priority Pass restaurants, and it steps above the Chase Sapphire Reserve card when it gives up to four authorized users full Priority Pass benefits for absolutely free. Also, if you were to compare the annual fee of these seven cards listed, the Capital One Venture X card at $395 per year is the second cheapest of all the cards listed. But wait, you say, $395, that's still quite a bit of money. $395 per year for Priority Pass benefits? Well, that's the best part. All these cards have additional benefits, but in my opinion, the Capital One Venture X card is the easiest card to justify the annual fee. And that's because every year, Capital One gives you a $300 travel credit, which is really easy to use. I can personally attest to that. And it gives you a 10,000 mile anniversary point bonus, which is equal to $100 in travel credit. So every year with the card, you get $400 of travel credit to offset the $395 annual fee. So if you actually use that credit, that's how you get Priority Pass membership, the best version of Priority Pass membership for essentially completely free every single year. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree or completely disagree about making the Capital One Venture X my favorite card for Priority Pass membership. If you thought this information was helpful, please leave a like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos on travel hacking or traveling for cheap, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more videos on a weekly or monthly basis. See you next time.